What's going on, guys? Today... We got some dupli color. Original GM color, duplicate color, whatever. That's the paint code. And that is the same paint code as this truck. We also got a grill that we've painted green. But we've got to do another coat. Touch it up a little bit. And my headlights came in today. Last night we painted the bumpers black. Both front and rear. We're going to change out the grill and throw those other headlights in the other grill. And perfect. We'll be done. With a chrome delete on this, eventually we got to pull off those trim pieces and stuff because I don't like them. Um, finish the exhaust. And the tip was black originally. And it started fading even though it was brand new. I don't know why. So I went over it with a coat yesterday. It's hanging too low. I've got to bring it up. But the exhaust is done. Got a cherry uh, glass pack, thrush glass pack, actually. So I'll fire it up for you. Sounds pretty good. Can't do a rev to show it to you guys where I'm at because, you know, it's an old motel that we live in and they all get mad. So, can't do it here. But, This is the grill, and as you can see where I taped it off yesterday to paint the logo black, it stripped. Yes, I didn't sand it down. I used some primer and just primed the whole thing and then painted over it, and that's why it stripped, and that's why it peeled off when I pulled my tape off. So. That sucks on that part, but we're going to try to fix it today. Don't know how well it's going to turn out, honestly. So, let's do it. Well, it's not turning out as good, so I don't know what's going on. But while we're working on that, we're also going to pull this grill off. So that I can change out these headlights and stuff too. So let's do that. Honestly, I might just have to sand the whole thing down and then paint it. Which is what I should have done in the first place. But you know me, I'm a cheap ass. I like to take the easy way out. And it doesn't turn out very good because it's not the correct way to do it. <coughs> Damn. Weather change. Sucks. This isn't even my stuff. This is Austin's stuff. He left in my truck. I'm using it. Alright, to so pull the headlights themselves, you've got these two tab thing. Sorry guys. These two here and two here. They are, this one's a five mil. So we'll just take those four bolts out. That one's out. 
And then once they're loose, they just pull out. And then you should be able to maneuver your headlight, pull it out. So let's get headlights are out. Okay, so now we've got, well, we've got to pull these off first. Um, and then once we get those lights off down there will have one, two, three, four, seven mils up here. And then down here, right here in the middle, you'll have another one. And then I believe behind these, you'll have one. Okay, so we already got that one out. So what you do is you pull it out. And then you just twist what tab tab all right so then you can reach in here and pull out your LED bulbs or whatever bulbs you got in mine are LED you can just reach in pull out your bulbs And you're good to go. Yes, yeah, so you got two seven mils right here that bolted down into here. And I just realized that this grill doesn't have those. Oh. It's because, okay, never mind, you don't need to take those seven mils off. You do, but you don't. Because they're actually what bolt this piece to that. Okay, so if, yeah, you'll pull those off. Okay, so we're going to switch this out. Alright, so you got your seven mil. off both your well doesn't matter what's which ones you guys pull off first I like to go out from the outsides and then work in And then don't forget this one here. And then the grill should be loose. Of course, you've got to unbolt this, but yeah. There you go. Just get that back, pull it back a little bit, and then you can get your ratchet or something down in there. Alright, so once you get it pulled back, and I don't know why the camera's acting weird, once you get it pulled back, you can get your ratchet down, you go down in between the grill and the uh, radiator support type whatever deal, and you can get your ratchet down in there and just start pulling them out. Alright guys, so there is a way to pull it off without unbolting those bottom ones I just realized. And I've pulled these grills off multiple fucking times. So what I did is I literally just unpopped all of the clips off of the, that grill. Slid it off and got this out of the way. So what we're going to do though is we're still going to pull off the grill. Or that those bottom bolts. Um, maybe I don't need to. I don't know. We'll come back to this part. We'll come back, you know, grill's off. We're, we'll come back. We've got to check out this grill because 
This is the grill that we're putting our stuff on. Get another coat going. And honestly, I don't know why this second coat is looking like shit.